Hello everyone, I'm Ultraviolet4 and we're rolling into part 4 of Tenny or Tengu Necromancer. We're playing in the point two four tournament. Uh, we are back on layer 6. The first time we got shafted here, um, now we're back of our own volition. We've done quite a bit of the floor, but I still don't recognize what layer 6 ending this is. So I guess it's perhaps fortunate it's not one of the scarier ones. And I have completely forgotten everything about this character. Oh, never mind. We have some. We have Spire. Okay, never mind. <laughs> uh, anyway, the plan for this one, um, in addition to just cosplaying your ad, uh, is to finish off the lair here, um, head to Orc, and so on. Um, we just got a pretty sick book. Well, it's not that sick, but it's sick because it has Malayan Gateway. Um, and I'm just thinking of all the awesome opportunities we have with our new um, Divine Exegesis. Exegesis? It's got to be Exegesis. Um, something like that. Anyway, uh, it lets you cast any spell that's in your spell library, regardless of um, your actual skills. So I can imagine uh, how strong a malign gateway would be, say, in Orcish Mines. <laughs> uh, that's pretty sick. Um, so, well, I've got a skill target for invocations on at 8, but I think we want to go higher. We want to go, I don't know, let's, should we just go insane? Should we just go to 15? No, probably not. Uh, we're training hexes for summon mana viper, which is at 19%. Um, we'll probably need to do a bit more of that, I don't know. I don't recognize this. This looks like some sort of a bear bolt. Come here, Daz. Uh, what was that? Oh, the troller down. Yeah. Uh, new book. This one just had simulacrum. Well, that's also pretty useful. Um, let's put that in our list. I don't know if when I go to use Divine Exegesis or whatever it's called, whether it will list all the hidden spells. Oh, we also have Discord. That sounds fun. <laughs> Being able to cast Discord without any, uh, without enough hexes training sounds good. Ah, oh, okay, I know what this is. This is the, um, what's my call it, ending. It's going to have a Catoplopus and a bunch of Death Yaks. Uh, and a deep troll. Uh, this one usually has good loot, so I guess I'm happy about that. Alright, let's not die. It's all good. It's all good because we are faster than death yaks, so we could kite these bad boys all day. Um, and we can also make friendly death yaks. Sweet. Uh, I probably, yeah, I, I should have done Animate Dead on that, and it's fine. We're about to charge into the end vault. Um, is it fine? I mean, maybe. <laughs> uh, can he calcify my Lightning Spire? I don't know about that. It's fine. Spire's just gonna, yeah, Spire just wins. Oh, there's a Dire Elephant. Um, Okay, well if those, if my stupid friends had gotten out of the way, um, the Dire Elephant could have been calcified. Alas. It's fine. Uh, like all other 10 speed monsters, we can put some poison on him and then just kite with Spire. Too easy. Alright, and then this, this Troll Shaman's... Um, not going to do too well against a Spire and a Dire Elephant Zombie, unfortunately for him. Alright, what do we got? We got a Magical, a Glowing Leather Armor. We may as well test it. It's plus one Cold Resistance. Uh, we're going back to Fire. We have Cold Resistance, right? Well, we should probably carry this with us because, you know, we might find an Ice Cave somewhere. Oh, you have two protection from Cold Rings. Yeah, we could have Max cold resistance, potentially. Uh, a ring of fire. Well, we'll carry that for the same reason, but in this case, Volcano. Um, this book gives us 
3, Swiftness, Shadow Galibrio, Throw Icicle, Bolt of Cold. Um, what have we learnt? I wonder if Throw Icicle is worth learning. No, we haven't done any Conjurations whatsoever, so I think probably not. Okay, and a large shield. Meh. Nah. Well, <laughs> uh, is it legit? I don't know. Because uh, the whole Exegest thing, this might be legit. When you use Divine Exegest, you can cast spells regardless of your um, skill level and the failure rates. So if you know you're going to use it, like say we want to go down to Vaults 5 and we have, you know, we're going to use, what are we going to use? Discord and Malign Gateway and all these things that we wouldn't be able to cast anyway. Um, then we could just uh, equip the large shield, right? Because the failure, the failure percent wouldn't matter. I don't know. That's that's either incredibly stupid or incredibly smart. I don't know. One of the two. Someone tell me. <laughs> Give me a reality check here. Is that genius? Oh, and it also means you can wear the you know you can put on the gold dragon scales. So is this a new strat? You go the heavy armor melee fighter of Sif Muna, um, because Sif doesn't care about your spells anymore, and then you just wear heavy armor, a large shield, and you, at big times in the game, you know, cast firestorms and ignitions and the like. I don't know, that sounds legit to me. <laughs> uh, what am I doing though? Um, we should learn Vile Clutch, that should be in our spell list. It goes to F. Um, hmm. Maybe, we'll have to test this out, but maybe, so Exodus has gone to 36%, uh, but maybe, on, let me read it. Cast any spell from your spell library with guaranteed success. I'm going to assume that means your spell list as well, not just ones that are in your library. It probably just means you can cast any spell you've come across. Um, anyway. Um, should we also learn Summon Butterflies? That's a spell that's really good, but I always forget to use. It should be in our list, though, um, with Appetation as well. These are all useful spells. Cool. So we have Butterflies and Appetation now. Um, yeah. Butterflies are really good when you have Banishes, or even if you're just trying to run away from an enemy and you're in a hallway, you can put a bunch of Butterflies to slow it. Um, anyway, so that's our laird on. We're going to head into Orc. We've got two pips of MR um, and another protection from Magic Ring that we're just carrying. So we can pretty comfortably avoid being um, paralyzed. We have 112 gold. Um, we have not found a sing single amulet except for the one in our shopping list. I don't know. I think we'll wait to see what we find in Orcish mine shops before we spend any more gold. Sif so Moonalong will no longer give me gifts, uh, will no longer give me books. Seems like the feeling that I get is that Sif Moonalong's piety gain is still pretty slow and pretty low. Um, seeing that we're barely using any of Sif's abilities and we're struggling to even maintain piety. Oh. Uh, that was a plus two robe of magic resistance on that guy. Yeah, it's fine. It's a 16% paralyzed chance. And even if we get paralyzed, the spy is going to do the rest of the work. So, whatever. Oh yeah, also. Um, so, Exodus is at 41. So, I think we keep pumping invocations for the moment. Um, but we should probably train some more spell schools. So Mana Viper's at 24%, we should drop that, it's worth it. Um, so we need to bring Hexes to 7. Okay. Um, and then, let's do that. And then after we've done that, I feel like we should train a bit of Earth Magic so that we can use Vile Clutch. And maybe we'll have to do some more Necromancy, but that's fine, we're playing a Necromancer, right? Oh, and we have that... Um, we have the Uncursed Staff of Death. Um, so that will give us even more powerful um, 
Val clutches. That's pretty insane. Uh, here's Oroka. Um, because I don't want even a 10% banish chance to happen, we're going to put on our magic resistance ring. Oh, okay, she just... She's got an Ice Blast wound. Okay, that's fair enough. But she just decided to blast that other orc. I mean, I guess she's an ogre. She doesn't care about orcs. But, I don't know, man. <laughs> oh, that hurt. Alright, let's go back up. Let's not casually die. Uh, we're also really drained right now. Um, it would be nice if we could find the rest of this floor. I think we have some digging, but only three charges. I don't know, that's kind of a dangerous floor, right? And then coming back up, if we're stair dancing stuff, there's a dispersal trap right here. Eh, it's fine, let's do it. Oh god, I regret my decision. Um, okay, let me figure out what just completely owned us there. Um, we got hit by two Orc Warriors and one Smite, and we lost half our H. We lost two thirds of our HP. Okay. Um, yeah, so there are two... There are three Orc Warriors that can hit us as we go up, and then three Priests that can smite us. So we actually need to do something. Oh, we don't have any Fear Scrolls. Oh, okay. Well, this was a mistake. Um, we don't have any fear. Um, quaffing heal wounds is probably not worth it. I think we just go back up and we hope we dodge everything. But we could we could die going up here. But is that the best play? Okay, heal wounds isn't enough. It's too slow. Um, going invis. Is going invis better? Going invis might be better. I wish we had fear though. Are there fear scrolls in our game? Okay, good. There's not a fear scroll sitting in a shop that I just didn't buy. Alright, so if we go invis, it's only the sorcerer that can see us, which actually might be more dangerous if the sor sorcerer steps there. Because then we'll have to go back upstairs and the sorcerer will be able to hit us with bolts of negative energy. So actually, I think it might be better just to go up and then if we survive, then we can go invis. But there's a very good chance that in going up here, we just die. Oh god, I'm closing my eyes. Oh, okay, we didn't die. Um, and the dispersal trap has actually helped us immensely. Awesome, thank you. Dispersal traps are greatest traps. Oh. Um, well, there's a teleport trap there. Hang on. We sh I should be going back around to the exit so we can heal up. Let me stop. Alright, so we're not going back to that stair, that's um, incredibly dangerous, it turns out. Okay, let's use some vamp bites. I haven't used those for a while, they're pretty good. Short blades go to 9. Um, should be using the rapier of venom at this point. Swings at point 0.8, it's probably better than the dagger, because it's a higher base damage weapon. Um, even though it's plus 2 versus plus 4. I mean, we've got 14 strength. We're not that low strength. All right. We need a rapier from now on. Okay, cool. Alright, well. Let's, uh... Let's not... We don't want to go down that stair anymore. What we can do is rather than use one of our digging charges, is we could jump on this teleport trap and see if we land on the other side. The problem with that is that we could land in the middle of a bunch of stuff, but I don't know. You only live once. Okay, it didn't, it didn't even work. Okay, well, I really, really don't want to go back to this stair. Yeah, it's too dangerous. Uh, we might have to skip walk for a while, unless, I don't know, we could use one digging charge. It's probably just based on the shape of this. The rest of the floor is probably over this side, whether down there or up there. So let's, I don't know, let's use a digging, that didn't work. Let's try one more. I don't want to have literally no digging charges. Okay, this time it worked. Okay, that's fortunate. I mean, having one isn't ideal, but it's better than none. Cool. 
right? And this gives us access to some more downstairs. So I wish we had um, bar clutch right now. That'd be pretty good. Uh, yeah, let's not die. I mean, we are still in a leather armor. <laughs> so uh, when enemies connect, it does hurt. Oh, is this a um, treasure room? No, this is a Sif altar. Um, we can fly, so we can just head on over there. Oh, that was an that was a dagger of electrocution. Um, we should have that. What are our things? We have um, yeah, we have the snake pit. So snakes are obviously resistant to poison. So in snake pit. Um, yeah, a, an elect weapon is going to be better. Same as if we're going to be fighting Hydras, we probably want... Uh, I don't want to be fighting Hydras, but if we are hitting Hydras, we probably want a Dagger of Elect rather than a thingy weapon. I almost went back down the dangerous stair. That was <laughs> good of me. How are we... Um, we're reasonably drained at the moment, so I'm trying to see how likely we are to cast Mana Viper, but it's sort of not a good indication. Um, we're still wearing that protection from magic. Okay, that's fine. Um, can we kill a rocket somehow? I mean, maybe if we just get lucky and cast the Mana Viper, and we just say, everyone go kill a rocker. Oh yeah, she's ice blasting us. I remember that. You can just shoot her with disintegration ones. It does literally nothing. This is a dangerous stair too. We've got a double-headed ogre. Okay. Um, well, I don't want the double-headed ogre. Okay, this was our only other downstair unless I take a hatch. So, I guess the other part of the floor probably was up here somewhere. We just didn't dig enough. Maybe if we'd gone from this point. Oh well. Okay, I'm gonna hope that a bunch of the monsters that were at this one just got dragged over to the other one. He has a long sword of Alec. Yeah, this is fine. We're next to dispersal. So um, we could just jump on it if we need to. Also we're starving. Can I put I can put spires over alarm traps. That's interesting. I think I can also put spires on dispersal traps. Yeah, I can. So I can stop them from triggering. That's um, I know there there are a lot of uses for lightning spire, but there you go. There's another one. You can also use it to block traps. Um, I presume it would work on a net trap as well to block it from triggering, which is really useful because for dispersal traps, zot traps, new net traps, um, all those things hit you no matter when anything triggers it. So if you just don't let anything step on it, next level play. Wow, um, that was, um, what's that thing called? That was an abjuration from the sorcerer there to get rid of our spire. Dodging goes to 10. Thank you. That's a robe of resistance. Um, I don't know. I don't like robes. I already don't like that we're in a le um, leather armor. So I don't want to go lighter. I'd rather go heavier. Um, quick check about training. Uh, we're still drained. Can we stop being drained so I can figure out how castle our spells are, please? Okay, there's a food shop, so we should never starve. Not that we'd starve anyway. Um, this has a manual of throwing, along with two throwing nets. That's a good shop. Manual translocations. Okay, um, we don't really care about that. Um, scroll teleportation. It seems like everything in this shop is starts with T. What's in the book of transfigurations? Statue form, dragon form, hydro form, 
irradiate. Yeah. See, if we just wait long enough, um, Sif Moon will give us. Um, she'll give us all the spells in the game anyway. Also, 84 gold for two throwing nets is an absolute steal. That's a bargain. <laughs> oh, we got mocked. Alright, back up, back up. Tell me what you're gonna do now. Um, yeah, I guess we'll keep the magic resistance ring on. Um, while there are sorcerers around. Alright, we just lure these guys up into our team. Okay, the team all died, never mind. <laughs> it's alright, we can get a new team. Uh, that Orc Knight down there has a crossbow. Also, this alarm trap was actually pretty fantastic because this would be way scarier coming across all these high level scary orcs inside their end vault. But because it's just pulling them all to the stairs like this and letting us stare dance them, it's a lot safer. Um, maybe this isn't though. Alright, that's fine. We'll back up. Um, oh, I did try to do vent bite on the non orc. Uh, there are two hell wings chasing us, um, and those guys can sweep on you. Okay, let's get regen back up. Are they? They're not fast. It's just they do the swoop thing. So I should move slowly because one of the things that can happen is you're moving somewhere and it swoops behind you and before you react you then move into it and you waste your turn attacking rather than running away oh this is kind of dangerous and we're not on in a place that has stairs out of here okay let's um let's acid one let's try to get this orc sorcerer killed as quickly as possible oh yeah, that's fine uh, we've got a lot of ice blasts as well. Okay, we're good. We reached level 15. Um, at this point, are we going to go my strat of all-in strength? <laughs> Wear heavy armor and then use Sif to cast high-level spells? Probably not. We'll go in. <laughs> uh, the int will help us casting, um, you know, um, Mana Viper, Vile Clutch, etc. Also, Hex is 6.4, and we're at 14% for Mana Viper. Yeah, I feel like once we get to 7 Hexes, that'll be sufficient to have Mana Viper be consistent. Um, it's probably pretty consistent right now, actually. Um, what, what hit us with electricity? Or was that just draining? It looked like electricity. Oh, it was just that Spire shooting. Okay, never mind. Ah, okay. Oh, we just lost half our HP from one massive crossbow hit. Oh, that hurt. It's fine. We can block crossbow shots with Spire. Man, that guy was a, um, a champion. As in, he really wanted to take us down. Uh, what do we got here? A plus seven fashion of... A cell. Uh, it's venom. It's got a vocable range, rage, our poison, a bit of extra strength. It's not that exciting. Um, yeah, that's nothing too exciting is here. The longsword of Alec is not going to make me want to go into longswords. I don't know. I mean, that fashion is the only our poison that we've come across. But that's fine. We've got. Oh, that's sort of usable. Oh, that's not true. We have a leather armor of poison resistance. Yeah, we probably should have been wearing that in lair. Where was that? That was just um, on D9. Okay. Yeah, we should have had that in lair. Not, not the um, not the fire resistance. Oh. 
Well, anyway, we'll probably wear that going into swamp, and then hopefully we find a swamp dragon armor. You have just a war axe. What? There? Oh, there are all these skeletons just in here? Oh, this is OP. Look at this skeleton army we can get. <laughs> That's sick. Skeletons. Unfortunately, we sort of cleared the floor by now. But, okay, so I take back everything I said about the alarm trap. It would have been awesome to just walk into this room, have all the orcs in here, and then just raise all these... Well, okay, most of them are rats, it turns out. But it would have looked cool. You have to... <laughs> You have to acknowledge that, it would have looked very cool. Uh, we've got some random scrolls in here. Enchant, enchant armor, enchant weapon. Scroll of E. Okay, we got a couple of those, not many. Um, we have here a potion shop. Do we have a lot of curing? We do, so we're not really in a hurry to buy these. Um, there's resistance, elite, cancellation, all these other pretty good ones. Um, I'll just mark resistance and cancellation so that I'm aware. Um, the heal wounds, I feel like we should just buy. We should have those. Especially because we haven't found anything else too exciting in these shops. Um, we could have, we could buy more mutation and use those. How are we for haste? We have six, that's fine. Probably don't need more of those. Um, and there are a bunch of potions of magic, but we basically have potions of magic on tap with Sif Moonal, with channel magic. So, yeah. Don't think we need to spend gold on those. Yeah, so that's, I'd say on the whole, pretty disappointing shops. Um, I mean, some solid items there in terms of potions and things like that. But, uh, no big game-changing weapon. So I feel like maybe we just go buy that amulet and we'll see what that is. Uh, there's also an unknown potion for 20 gold. You know what? For 20 gold, I'll find out what a potion is. Uh, it was leaked. Okay. And it turns out we, we're carrying a bunch of potions that we didn't know. <laughs> so actually, we already had one of those. I didn't need to buy it. Although, um, once you know what the item is, the price would go up. So that could have been valuable by not knowing what it was. Oh, but then I just used our last identify scroll. Okay, well, we'll just put the amulet on. Please don't be draining. It's acrobat. Uh, this is pretty perfect. Now we have 37 evasion when we're moving. So if we kite things um, using uh, spire, we're pretty much unkillable. We can do, like, we can make a bunch of summons with mana viper. We can vile clutch stuff, which does damage over time. We've got lightning spire, and then we can just move around with 37 evasion. Alright, we just need some more HP so that we don't die to the first enemy who has um, damnation. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, we'll do that later. There are so many things I want to train. Yeah, so we're at hexes to 7. Short blades, I said we were taking to 10, which isn't the min delay for the rapier, but that's probably fine. Because this rapier isn't going to be fantastic in either snake or swamp. So yeah, I feel like 10's okay. It's min delay for the elect dagger as well. Yeah, that works. Okay, so we'll go short blades 10, hexes 7. We'll start training some fighting after that. And probably a bit of earth magic so that we can have fire clutch castable. And maybe at some point we'll stop focusing invocations, but not yet. Um, okay, on to the rest of the dungeon. We're already here. Okay. I guess that makes sense. Alright. Well, this should be pretty easy if we're just going to be fighting yak packs and kobold packs and adders and iguanas. Apparently we somehow accidentally came back to D4. And yeah, frogs. We're going back to early dungeon enemies. Let's read this ID scroll off the ground. It's a potion of flight. There's no point carrying those. Uh, also, we're carrying random um, random ones that we don't need. <laughs> random effects, the most random of all ones. Let's drop that. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't even need um I don't even need to use lightning spar. Okay, I do need to use lightning spar. Invocations to nine. I think once we get invo to ten, um we'll uh stop focusing it. Okay, Sif gave us another gift. This gives us um Sublimation of blood is kind of like um, using channel magic, except it also takes your HP. Um, there's also Iron Shot here and Necromutation. Both of those, I can imagine, could have very good uses um, with Divine Exegus. So I'm going to put those in my accessible spell list. Um, have we found a regular shield? We have for 130 gold. Do we want? I don't know. There's so many things I want to train. I don't feel like we have time to be doing shield as well right now. Maybe, maybe much later in the future. All right, we're powering through D12. Because oh, another a. A ring of wizardry. Um, well, nah. we can get um, we can cu cast anything without wizardry, so we don't need that. We're gonna test this up, this hatch up. I want to see exodus is at twenty eight percent. That's I mean that's sort of castable in a pinch. Does it? Um, it doesn't cost any mana to use. It just costs piety. That's pretty nuts. So presumably, uh, if it doesn't work, you can just keep spamming it until it does. Um, here's a Hydra. Uh, we can just we can just fight that with Spire. I wonder if he could technically one shot us. Well, <laughs> uh, maybe. <laughs> that was a shapeshifter, huh? Uh, I should not be playing that fast. Let me get back around the corner. The centaurs are faster than us, but when we're running away, we have 37 evasion. I was hoping we could just get around a corner so that we could stop being shot, but apparently that's really difficult. It's fine. We got rage and up. Spire's gonna kill them, and while Spire's killing them, uh, we'll use Vampiric Bite to get our HP back. Sweet. I'm back up to max. That's pretty awesome. Um, also, what's. Mana Viper's at 13%. Hmm. That's fine. Oh, there's Rupert. Okay. Um, we he's got a twenty five percent chance to paralyze us right now. Let's quickly switch to our protection from magic ring. It should drop it considerably down to 5%. Okay, that's still too high. So I'm going to put down the Spire and we're going to make some Mono Viper friends. Okay, I feel like that should kill him. Yeah, comfortably. <laughs> and imagine if I also had um, Bar Clutch on top of that to drop his evasion. This character's pretty nutty. Um, I mean, to be fair, we had two um, experience potions, so this might not be your standard experience. <laughs> do, you, do you see what I did there? It's not your standard experience with the character. <laughs> uh, I don't want to die. Um, we don't get double zaps here anyway, because these are metal walls, um, and metal walls don't reflect electricity alright, uh, on to d14 let's keep the regen up, I've been doing a better job of keeping regen up that's Jorgren 
Um, he, he, yeah, he can still petrify you, yeah, but he also has Iron Shot and Grasping Roots. That's pretty crazy. Um, I'm still wearing my protection from Magic Ring. So we just do the same thing. He didn't even wake up when I made a Spire. If we make, if we make a couple of these guys, once they start anti-magic biting him, like he's pretty much done. He can't cast spells anymore. It's summon Mana Viper if you weren't aware. It's just incredible, incredible against spellcasters. Uh, that's plus five dex. 24 evasion right now. Um, we have 22 without it. So it's like a plus two evasion ring. It's probably worth having at all times, right? A plus two evasion ring, I'd be wearing that. Um, let's see, we have a bunch of utility, even more potions of invis, but nothing that I want to buy immediately. Uh, okay, there you go, we're carrying a potion of resistance. Lol. <laughs> the Cyclops can't see the unseen horror, so he's just shooting through it. But uh, he missed. That's fine. We, we just keep blocking his large rocks with Spire until he runs out. Too easy. Uh, we ran out of sorts? How do we run out of sorts? Um, let's, um, let's wear the magical power ring at all times instead of protection from cold. Um, let's drop the large shield because as meme as that is, we don't need to be carrying it at all times. <laughs> uh, and let's drop, I don't know, that's good enough. Spellcasting goes to 10, we'll just keep training that all game, I feel like. The more spell levels we have, the better. Here's another ring. Uh, plus two ring of slaying. Well, I think I'd rather have plus two slaying than plus two evasion. So this becomes our new jury of choice. Uh, new amulet. Um, I think it's going to be hard to top. Um, Acrobat for this character and also yeah, Sif Moona's piety game is definitely still really slow because we have not used a single Sif Moona ability this whole episode and we have been stuck at four pips. We went up to five briefly, um, but yeah, we're back down to four. So it's just, I don't know, Sif Moona's piety is still super slow, which is kind of lame because I'm training all these invocations to use Sif's abilities. But if you don't even have the piety to use Sif's abilities, then why even bother with the invo? Just use Sif as a, I don't know, a, a book gifting god, but that's pretty weak. Oh, that hurt. Okay, we're, we're fighting our Tengu brethren. Um, and we've been using, um, oh, it's an amulet of faith. Well, there you go. That might be how you do it. So we'd have more faith for more Sif abilities, but we'd lose all the awesomeness of having 37 evasion at all times. I don't know. Let's, let's see how we go. I'm going to wait for the moment. Um, let's, let's see if we can just work Sif's piety up. And then if we, if we can't, then I guess we'll... Try some face. But yeah, because of regen, we've even been resting less often than you typically would. I'm going to say this is a shapeshifter, this Raiju. It's not a monster you normally find in the dungeon. Um, and here's, here's a trick that... Um, yeah, I feel like the devs don't want you to know this one. This isn't a very wide published trick. But if you use a polymorph one on a shapeshifter, you'll force it to change. So if you ever get a form like this that you don't like, you just do that. And then, yeah, like you you have a nasty shapeshifter that becomes like a shard trike or something. You just hit it with the polymorph 
and then it will change. Um, I kind of don't like that stair. I'm gonna pick a new one. All right, come at me, ants. Ow. All right, we have a bunch of slang, right? Because we also have the Mask of the Dragon. So we have plus five slang right now. So we're just going ham with this rapier. Although I'm still losing. <laughs> Ugly thing. Uh, you can also your shape, sh your polymorph one can also force um, ugly things to change color. So that's another cool trick. Um, I really wish I had a um, bar clutch here. So we're finished with hexes. We're at twelve percent on mana viper. Um, you know what? Why don't we train summonings up just a little bit more, up to nine? That should do it. And we're gonna train. Earth magic. Oh, it's really bad. I know. Let's train it to five, and let's also train fighting. So this is another ultra violent four screen. And you know what? Because um, Sif piety seems so slow, I feel like we stop training invocations. Divine exegesis is at twenty percent. So in a pinch, we could kind of spam that. Like, say we needed to use that and use death's door, we could just keep doing it over and over again until we got lucky or as in didn't get unlucky uh, I'm gonna go back up I maybe want to focus fighting I feel like we really need more HP and you know what I'm gonna take dodging to 12 and then stop for a sec I don't know Tengus are good at dodging the plus one aptitude plus because you're flying you're getting extra bonus out of being evasive so I don't know maybe we shouldn't ever stop dodging Oh, I just really want, yeah, I really want that guy to go down. Um, I'm going to run and blink, hopefully away. Yeah, that's good enough. Yeah, I knew we were going to get owned by the ugly thing that was white, but I also knew if I ran, the central warrior would destroy us. So I just wanted to kill the central warrior before then running away. Oh, yeah, right. I'm an idiot. Zombies can't follow you upstairs. Um, let's keep... There's a stair we don't know. That might, yeah, that's probably just safer. Is this the dragon ending? It is. Huh. I wonder if we'd want it, one of these dragon scales this early. Um, I don't have any cold resistance on. Let me change that. Uh, and again, putting the other cold resistance ring on. Um, and. Try to make some snakes. Okay, yeah, we're good. Uh, Sif gave us a gift. This gives us Firestorm. All right, there you go. We can use Exegesis and Firestorm. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, and there's an Ice Dragon scales. Um, do we wear that? It's probably. I mean, maybe. Maybe we do. I can't carry it, but I wanted to look at it. Let's drop. The leather armor of cold resistance. This, the ice dragon scales are just better. Um, if we need to go into an ice cave. Okay, so this ice dragon scales requires... It has an encumbrance rating of 11. So you want 11 to 12 strength to use it decently. And we have 14. Um, is that legit? Um, we have a ring of fire. So we'd have to weather in a fire at all times to not be vulnerable. But it probably just means that we can't cast our spells. Why don't I just put it on and have a look? So... Lightning Spy would go to 16% chance to fail. Yeah, okay. I'm, even if we're going to end up in these Ice Dragon scales... Um, I don't want them right now. Um, because I feel like, what's my column? Swamp Dragon Scales will be better for the, um, the short term. 
Um, it will it will be a better resistance having our poison in snake pit and swamp. Plus, it's lighter. So I mean, as we train up armor to get better at casting, we can, yeah, not have the heavier armor. All right. So what magical power? That's the two dragons down. That can be a really nasty for this entrance into depths. Oh, okay. Well, apparently this was isolated. <laughs> um, an Ifrit. It's fine. We have we have RF at all times. What's with all the centaurs on this floor? Um, we don't have ID potions. Okay, let's drop the ice dragon scales for now. No, we'll drop one protection from cold rain. Uh, five headed hydra. That's okay. Let's cut it. The orange brain made even more centaurs, as if this floor needed more centaurs. Uh, that was dumb. Okay, it's fine. Centaurs aren't even real. They're not even real. We're nearly dying. It's fine. We have huge amounts of evasion. I'm just going to put down a spire. Yeah, and then we should be able to get back up. Just. Alright, those centaurs weren't even real. Okay. Um, ooh, a scimitar of flaming. Um, a plus three scimitar of flaming. That feels like a better swamp weapon than a dagger of electrocution because that will chop hydra heads um, and we're also decent at using a scimitar because it cross trains uh, we swing at 1, 1 1.1 1 .1, so I mean it's not great I don't know. well I'll carry it with us, I'll make make the decision later although that won't be, won't be too far away let's put on cold resistance against the the white one. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna drop the amulet of faith to remind me. Oh, we're back up to five pips of piety. Maybe it's working, but we're not using any abilities. I don't know. It sucks. Too. It's too slow. That, these are probably shapeshifters, or at least the orb spider. Um, that was just a plain buckler, unfortunately. Even more centaurs. This one drank a potion of haste. That's fair. Alright, why don't we test it? Let's do a trial run for Swamp. Okay, we're gonna wield our scimitar of flaming. And Spy is just gonna kill it. <laughs> oh, you know what the ba the downside is though? Is that as we chop um, Hydra heads off, and we then animate dead to make a zombie, our zombie will have fewer heads if we've chopped them off. Uh, what's in there? We do we know password? No, we don't know password, so we can't get in. There's a bit of gold and curing to be obtained from there if we ever get more digging charges or we get password. Um, okay, that's it for D15. Okay, so I'm gonna stop this episode here. Oh wait, before I forget, let me go get the our poison armor. Uh, that is, that will be better to have with us uh, to start Swamp off than a fire resistance leather armor. Let's drop disintegration charges. Okay. So we gotta go to the start of swamp. If you join me in the next one, we'll um, do swamp. Alright, good start. Um, yeah, alright, see you all back then.